I'm curious about the health of the fuel pump, fuel filter, and fuel pressure regulator on my Ford Ranger. And one way to determine the general condition of these components is to perform a test of the fuel system pressure. To do this, I need a high pressure fuel line, something that can hold about 60 pounds of uh, pressure at least, and a gauge. This is just an old gauge from an air compressor that I had, and this is some um, air compressor hose. I also need a valve stem removal tool. This valve is not necessary. I just used it as a coupler between the hose barb here for the airline and the gauge itself. So I'll go over to the truck and show you how to hook this up. This is a four cylinder truck, but I think they're all about the same. Not just Rangers, but most vehicles have the same type of setup. If you look on the fuel rail, you'll find a Schrader valve right here. It might be covered up with a cap, but it, it looks just like a valve on your tires, a valve stem. So I'll use this valve stem core removal tool and remove the internal core. You should wait a little while after driving the truck before doing this because if you do this right after you've driven the truck and it's hot there will be quite a bit of fuel pressure in here. There shouldn't be very much right now. I cracked it and a little bit of gas came out but the engine is cold and it won't spray very much. So just be careful when you do this or you'll get a face full of gas. Be careful not to drop the valve stem core removal tool down into the depths of the engine as well. I've lost a couple of removal tools in that fashion. It's gone forever. So there's the core. Looks real similar to the valve stem core that's in a tire. After the valve core is removed, I can just fit my fuel line over the fitting. And secure it with a hose clamp. That hose clamp is now nice and tight. It's important that this uh, fitting is nice and tight because you don't want 60 PSI of gasoline spraying in your engine compartment as you're driving down the road. That could make a hazardous condition. So now the next step is to route this gauge somewhere that the driver can see it. The only suitable place I could find for the hose to come out of the hood was right in front here. Everywhere else the body seams are too tight. So I put my hose through here and taped up the gauge assembly so it won't scratch my beautiful paint. I used some bungee cords to tie the whole contraption up over to the antenna base. So now I have a gauge that's visible from the driver's compartment. So the next step is to start it up and see what that gauge says. Well now I'm in the truck and I can see the gauge from here and when I start the truck it should read right around 60 psi. And it looks like it's right there, 60 PSI. So at least we know at idle and neutral it is holding the pressure that it should. The important test will be 
as I drive, can it hold that pressure? Because when driving, the truck uses a lot more fuel than when it's just sitting stationary, idling in neutral. So it's time for a little road trip. So now I'm on the road, and we'll see what this thing does. Seems to hold pretty steady. So that's floored right there. And it holds at 60 PSI. So I think that's a good indication that I've got good fuel pressure and good fuel components. So that's how you test the fuel pressure on a Ford Ranger that can be observed even while driving. Thanks for watching.